So the basis to Jim's program, the whole idea of it, he was an athletic coach. Athletes, run, their power comes from the top half of their body. Their shoulders, you, you see guys in their final 100 metre Olympic sprint, their power propellers through the shoulders. So their power comes from their shoulders, but that has to be distributed down to their legs. So their running comes through the shoulder and it goes down through the body into their legs. So Jim wanted exercises, rather than just do a dumbbell curl that isolates that muscle, he wanted an exercise that ties the body together. He developed speed ball, developed a few different ways and eventually came up with a method of hitting the ball that simulates running virtually. Feet uh, parallel uh, under your hips and when you hit the ball it's very relaxed and that shoulder, stay relaxed in your, in, in your waist, when you hit the ball that shoulder hits the ball so you're working right through your body. When I hit the ball with that punch there I'm, I'm virtually pushing with that leg. When you're hitting the ball properly you are right, going right through a figure eight to hit the ball, which is virtually the running action. Six three minute rounds on the speed ball is the program. Six, you hit the ball for three minutes, a minute break, three minutes, a minute break. Six three minute rounds on the speed ball, then you have a rest. And then you start his exercise program. Uh, the first one is, is uh, pull ups, hands facing you up on the bar, pull yourself up, right up to the chin across the bar and down. Up to chin across the bar and down. Number two exercise uh, are just the uh, body squats, feet parallel, down, just past the right angle, just doing a body squat down, just past the right angle. Arms go out to right angle, up, arms go out to right angle, up. His exercise that ties the bodies together, hands behind the head, and when you come up, the right leg goes to the left shoulder. So your body's working in that figure eight again. Left leg to right shoulder. And the final exercise is push ups, all the way down, all the way up. Strength from the body to be able to perform that exercise on the speed ball, hit the ball harder, go to the track and you're more powerful to be able to run better. You've learned to hit the speed ball, which takes a little while to get the coordination, but you'll soon get it. So your six three minute rounds on the speed ball, as slow as you like, as slow as you like until you get yourself going. Three minute round, one minute break, you finish that. Then you do this exercise program, push ups, uh, sit ups, pull ups, squats and dips. Once through, twice through, three times through, four times through and five times through. Now you might start off by just doing one push up and one pull up. That doesn't matter where you start. The thing is that you're going to do this program seven days a week if you can or take a Sunday off to have a rest or take Saturday and Sunday off if you like, depending on how serious you want to be about it. Every seventh training session, once you train, right been through seven training session, you have to increase your exercises by one. So if you're doing Five push-ups, you've got to go to six push-ups. If you're doing four dips, you've got to go to five dips. So every seven training sessions, you increase it by one, and you do that over 12 weeks.